Hello guys, welcome to episode 3 of our Production Diaries on Above the Clouds. It's been a while since our last episode, 8 months to be exact. Uh, we took a long break because of some money matters, but we're back shooting now. And uh, in this episode, we're going to take you behind the scenes and show you the team that makes it all happen, logistics. So we have much to show you, hope you guys enjoy this episode. Above the clouds, we have numerous locations ranging from mountains to rivers, waterfalls, century old woods, and we have um, mountain trails and mountain peaks. And behind all of these, we have a very good team. We have a location manager and production manager, Janelle Canaria or O'Neill Parker, and we have our line producer, Tony Asejo. Hi, I'm O'Neill Parker. I'm the location manager of Above the Clouds. Location scouting in the market is very difficult. We need to coordinate to lots of people kasi ah, marami kaming maabala kung hindi namin gagawin yun. Nung nasa market na kami, medyo nahirapan nga kasi nga yung mga tao, nung makilala nila si Ruru, kaguluhan nila. So yung, pag, yung mga shots ni Direk, medyo yung pagka-wide niya, ah, hindi niya makuha kagad yung gusto niya dahil maraming mga kailangan i-control na tao. Yung crowd control, though meron akong mga polis, meron din akong mga barangay tanod, at meron din akong uh, talagang crowd control natin. But still, sa dami ng tao na nakikosyo, so mahirap pa rin siyang i-control. We're now on Session Road. Session Road is the busiest street on Baguio. So tonight we're going to be shooting up until 6 a.m. We're going to wait for the sunrise. And it's going to be almost a 16-hour day today. So we were shooting at the Baguio city market outside the wet area and it was like an open road and so were like hundreds of people at least and uh, they were crowding around us and it was really hard to control the crowd. First because they were looking at the camera <laughs> and secondly because they were gang all of them were crowding around our actor Ruru and I'd hear the crowd and some people in the crowd uh, were spreading rumors that there were other actors shooting there and so they began to shout and we really couldn't take the shot, we really couldn't take the shot. And so what we did after, I think, 30, 45 minutes of, wait, of waiting is, uh, I think Chris got this idea. Uh, we got the help from the BTS people. We asked them to please pretend that you're shooting, you're shooting something or someone. You're shooting Ruru, actually, on the other side of the set. So as they pretend they're shooting on someone else, people thought that Ruru was there. But actually, Ruru, Ruru is on the other side. I'm with Ruru. Then they run with this uh, decoy Ruru, running towards the other direction. People follow them. Then after that, uh, there, there's a little clearance in the set. So then we got the shot. So. Um, ang second major location namin for Above the Clouds is Sagada. Um, ang travel time nito is um, around uh, four to six hours, but it took like um, around seven because we shoot kami along the road from Baguio to Sagada. We got up at two in the morning to leave Baguio and got uh, here just in time for magic hour. And we took really, really beautiful shots. Lots of beautiful shots of the car traveling through the highway. And when you see the sunrise, it's really different. It's like. Uh, Pepe was just telling me, Pepe Smith was just telling me a while ago that he he's looking around and said, Hey, hello Lord, good morning Lord. <laughs> no, but yeah, you see you see the beauty of the country and the beauty of nature and everything. And it's just uh, it's nice to wake up to. So all the sleepiness that we had at two in the morning is gone. Sagada, this is one of the places we're shooting above the clouds. Uh, we're here and it's just such a beautiful place. It's six hours um, from Baguio and it has everything we need because the environment here is really preserved and uh, the locals really protect it. So the trees here are just amazing and really, really tall, centuries old. So we're here shooting for about a week. These are the scenes where grandfather takes Andy up this mystical mountain that's been left behind by time. So parts of the mountain are unspoiled, 
parts of it have been denuded. So we're shooting all the scenes that are unspoiled here. So a lot of it is tracking shots, moving through the mountains. We are creating sets from scratch, um, lighting entire mountainscapes, um, recreating moonlight and things like that. This is the uh, Sumagin uh, cave in uh, Sagada and uh, trying to set up uh, all the cameras and the equipment down there, way down there. And uh, I think they're gonna pump some water so you know, like flood the uh, cave. <laughs> no, 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 not really. Just to uh, make it uh, gleam. And um, this is where we get lost in a cave and then uh, we got separated from each other. And then, uh, of course, I go look for him because I can't leave him be <laughs> and, and kind of bring him up out of the cave so he can just go home and, uh, you know, have coffee and... <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, we were shooting in Sagada in Lumiang Cave. And ayun, um medyo nakakatakot siya kasi may mga hanging coffins na nakita kami. And then um nagulat ako kasi si Mr. Pepe Smith, meron siyang binuksan na parang casket. Basta nakakatakot. And then um uh, pagkita ko, um ano lang pala yun, props. Of course, ours is the fake one. <laughs> It's made out of styrofoam, you know. But when I looked at the others, you know, like right next to the uh, our coffin, they're the real ones, man, you know, like made out of logs, you know, like carved in and uh, locked by two uh, pieces of branch, you know, like um, hammered end to end. Uh, no, first time ko yung makapasok sa isang cave na ganong kalaki. So, um, grabe, Nag, um, naging mas, ano pa ako, um, mas excited na nung pumasok ako noon, parang, parang iba yung feeling. So we shot one scene uh, at a bonfire uh, when uh, the grandfather, when grandfather tries to um, sermon Andy and Andy fights back. It was a really tricky scene to mount because because uh, we're shooting out of sequence and that anger when all of that has, all of the anger that Andy has inside of them, all of the issues that uh, the grandfather has inside of him should come out and uh, we really needed Ruru and Pepe to sort of internalize uh, their characters and, and, and come prepared, but we shot it. And uh, I think you'll see, you'll just definitely see a different Pepe Smith here, something that nobody's ever seen before. I was surprised when we shot him, and you'll see Ruru. Um, Ruru is such a really good actor, and that scene becomes the turning point in the film that it was meant to be. Well, uh, medyo mahirap yung uh, pag-shoot namin sa Sagada, kasi uh, una, yung accommodation namin, uh, kunti lang yung mga hotel na pagpipilian namin. Pangalawa, yung supply ng food, eh, hindi ganun ka-abundant. Limited lang din. And then, uh, dahil medyo marami kami, yung pag-transfer namin from one location to another, medyo nahirapan din kami. And then, um, yung mga kweba na ginamit namin, uh, medyo mahirap din yung pagbaba at pag-akyat. Well, uh, isa pang problema namin doon is yung climate kasi uh, nung mag-shoot kami, masyadong malamig na bilang galing kami sa Manila na medyo mainit na lugar, pagdating namin sa Sagada, medyo nanibago kami. But um, at the end of the day, masaya pa rin kami lahat kasi ginagawa namin ang pelikulang to. Carlo. Yeah.